What's up guys? My name is Richard Rodriguez, your Central Florida real estate professional. Today we're spending some time in Samford, Florida. We're just five minutes away from downtown. I would love to show you guys this beautiful new construction home right behind me. Let's go ahead and get started. Samford's in Seminole County, just north of Orlando. This home, again, was built this year, 2023. I really like this lot because it's a corner lot. You have a park across the street. Let me go ahead and show you guys real quickly what that park looks like here across the street. There's that park. Beautiful downtown community here. Again, you're only five minutes from the Riverwalk. Very good location. Modern farmhouse is what the builder went with for these finishes. Beautiful neutral colors. Landscaping looks pretty good. I mean, this home's only been on the market for a little bit over a month. Currently listed at 575. I really like this outdoor porch here. Very old school feel. However, it's a brand new home. Easily put some exterior furniture there and sit right there in front of your home. The home itself is just under 1,700 square feet. So you'll see the majority of the square footage is gonna be upstairs. However, they did a really good job with this kitchen here. I mean, look at these finishes. You have beautiful stainless steel appliances. That's actually a smart fridge there. I like the black finishes, the really nice black and white marble style quartz. So you guys can see here, it's a waterfall island. So you can see beautiful black backsplash very neutral white black and grays throughout the property however really nice finishes look at those lamps behind these doors you actually have the laundry room and your first bathroom so the home has two and a half bathrooms this would be the bathroom your guests use when they come over or when you're on the first floor behind this door just so you guys can see real quickly is the laundry room. So very nice size laundry room here. There are the hookups. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the home. It is a kitchen and living room combo. So you guys can see very spaced out, nice open layout. Love that big fan there. And we'll take a look at the backyard here shortly. However, I am in the corner of the living room and here's what it looks like from my angle. So you guys can get a really good fit. You can probably fit about four or five stools there on that peninsula. So very, very nice design to the kitchen. Let's go ahead and see what the upstairs looks like. They went with the luxury gray vinyl wood finish for the flooring throughout. Have some really nice glass here. As you guys can see at the very top of the stairway. All the bedrooms are gonna be on this second floor. As I mentioned, it's just under 1,700 square feet. Both guest bedrooms are here. So bedroom one is here. Not bad in terms of the size. The window faces the side of the home. Decent sized closet there. And bedroom number two is directly to the left of bedroom number one. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this one's a little bit bigger. So you can see double windows facing the front of the home. I believe this bedroom and the primary both face the front of the home. So let's take a look at the primary. This closet's also a little bit bigger, actually. You have this cool area. It's not necessarily a second living room, but you have enough space to maybe put a chair here. Here's that first full bathroom. I really love the tile that they decided to go with here. Black finishes, really cool design. So you guys can see that sink here. There's that beautiful big mirror, black finishes again throughout. Really cool finishes in this property. Here's the primary bedroom. All the bedrooms actually have carpet and then the rest of the home is vinyl. So you see that double window here facing the front. You have a really cool older tree that's giving plenty of shades at the front of the home. And then here is the primary really nice spacious primary bedroom and then you have that big beautiful bathroom there double sink vanity i really love when builders decide to keep it neutral throughout it feels like it gives the, the new buyer 
an opportunity to make it their own. They don't get too loud with the colors or the details. However, look at this really nice shower. Really cool modern feel here for sure. Double glass doors. And here is the double sink from this angle here. I really like these mirrors. And they actually have a walk-in closet directly through the bathroom here. So you see, so you guys can see. They put some custom cabinetry here, just to give you guys a little bit more feel and space for the closet. Really nice finishes throughout this primary bedroom. For 575, to be this close to downtown Sanford, I think is a really good deal. The home itself, beautifully designed, great finishes, and you literally can take a bike to downtown Sanford. As I mentioned, there's a lot going on in downtown Sanford. There's a lot of builders here building. Very nice community. You have a beautiful Lake Monroe. A lot of people like to jog and run and walk in the mornings. And then there's a lot of cool restaurants and bars in downtown Sanford. If you're familiar with the area, leave a comment. If you're not in considering, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on what you guys think about Sanford. But this home here, being on a corner lot, this close to downtown, it's a really good deal. If you're into having a bigger lot, again, this is only 0 0.07 acres. So your neighbor is directly behind you, unfortunately, but you're really paying for the property and the location. This is technically the backyard. I'll go around a little bit so you can see. There's not really much room to work with, but again, the builder decided to build a bigger home. And sorry, that's the fan from the AC outside unit there. But just want to make sure I give you guys an idea. It's a little bit of a tight fit on the outside. The home definitely takes up majority of the lot. But again, really nice, quiet community. Really, really cool. You can technically turn this into a driveway. I'm not sure why they didn't continue. But either way, you have plenty of room here to park in front of the property. And the home, again, is only five minutes from downtown Sanford. That's it for this home here in Sanford, Florida. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you thought about the home in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time.